What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be getting the engine set in the flat nasty and getting ready to the road and getting ready to go to Rudy's. Um, I'm going to be pretty much shot out the whole video, not from doing drugs or anything like that. I'm just extremely tired from yesterday's upload. I haven't got any sleep last night. My dad was admitted into the hospital. He has some um, heart issues going on. He just had a major back surgery. Some of you guys know about that and it just was a complete failure and now he has is having heart problems um it's nothing like dire but it's definitely not good i had to go sit in the hospital with him last night so no sleep for me but he's on the road to we don't know for sure what's going to happen yet but um we're up here to shop to get some work done to get the flat nasty done so we still make it to rudy so bear with me being all chink eyed and being sleepy so we've got the mother bottle of nitrous here it still has some nitrous in it i think um I did go to Induction Solutions this morning after leaving the hospital and picked up two brand spanking new 15 pound nitrous bottles and we're going to fill those up for my mother bottle. But the only thing is I don't have a nitrous pump so we're going to take this and load up in the back of Yvonne's truck and go to Bullfrog Performance and have them pump it out of here into those. In case you guys are wondering what a nitrous pump is, it basically pulls the gas out of this and puts it into there because you can't just flow it out because the pressures are even and you won't get all the gas into one of those. So. A nitrous pump is like 280 and us like 500 dollars expensive as hell and i don't i'm not spending on that much on one of those right now so that being said we're going to get this thing loaded up in the back of his truck and go up there and get the bottles filled and come back to shop all right folks we made it up here to bullfrog we've got our nitrous bottle hooked up to their nitrous pump right here and we've got our scale turned on we're going to take our nitrous bottle set it on the scale and these bottles empty should weigh 17 pounds 10 ounces and it weighs it's close we're going to fill it up to 32 pounds and 10 ounces. So what we're going to want to do is turn it right here, open our valve up, let whatever air may be in there out. Hold that for me, sir. Now we're going to take our fitting right here. They've got made up specifically for this. And hook her onto there just like so. Take our wrench. Snug it down. Now we're gonna open our mother bottle up all the way. We're gonna open our valve right here and make sure our valve on the bottle's open slowly and let that nitrous oxide start flowing into the new portable nitrous bottle. You see right here that gauge is gonna start going up here in a minute. And we're gonna turn on our nitrous pump right here. So we had to turn our nitrous tank upside down because it doesn't have a draw tube inside of it like these do, and I didn't know that. So news to me, I didn't know these had draw tubes in them. I should have because these bottles have draw tubes in them. So we've got this thing nursed empty. Our bottles are both full. So I'm gonna let Jeremiah take this, send it off and get it replaced for a newer style bottle with a draw tube in it. And we can definitely have a lot more nitrous at the shop from now on. So nitrous bottles are full. Head back to shop, the flatbed engine stuck back in it. So we got the flat nasty pulled in the shop after getting back from getting our freaking nitrous tanks filled. Um, I am so pumped about getting some nitrous fed into the son of a gun, that poor old junkyard motor over there. But we're gonna get a couple things loose off the truck, the power steering line and the steering shaft. And we're actually gonna pick the cab up off the truck a few inches, just far enough to get to the, uh, to get the engine to slide right in there and made up to that transmission. So we have to pull the transmission out and uh, get this flatbed engine stuck up in here. So. We're going to get the cab bolts undone. There's two on each side under the doors. There's one up here in the front and pull this power steering line off right here. And we've got to pull the steering shaft off right there. We may be able to stretch it. Probably should just go and pull it off. And uh, we're going to pick this mother up. We can stretch the brake lines just a little bit and they'll be okay. So we got the flatbed engine on the freaking forklift. I'm pumped and whooped and tired. So the only, only way to get through this is just to get pumped. <laughs> and then fall asleep but anyways we got the for we got the forklift on the engine ready to put it in the truck here we got the vacuum pump bolted up um i've got both motor mounts off of it because we're going to set it in there and mate it up to the shaft inside the nv 56 hunt in there from super stick transmission cody albrett and then we'll bolt the motor mounts on it and set them down in the frame and then start hooking this mother up about to be lit fam so 
Everything's turning out to be really freaking cool, guys. We're gonna get this thing shoved in here, so hold tight. Well, look who decided to show up once we got the engine all installed. Oh, yeah. We got him down there doing the dirty work, but the engine's all set in there. I've got the tranny all bolted up, made it up. We're gonna get the motor mounts put on it. I think Austin got the driver's side motor mount bolted up in here already. You got, dang. That's why I show up. Things somebody, I got somebody that wants a picture of you with no hat on. Just a good, clean picture. That somebody want to make a this meme. This is what it looks like. There's nothing. So much reflection. <laughs> it's gone. So he's gonna get the passenger side motor mount on there, and then we're gonna pick it up in the air and finish buttoning up a couple things underneath it. Put some fluid in the transfer case. Then we're gonna let it down. Put the cab on it. And let it rock. I think we're gonna put the ranch in on the front of it. I've had it sit next door this Are weekend. You have a ranch in front? Yeah. So. Getting right to it. So Austin managed to get the motor mounts on this bad man, but jamber, all bolts. I see some loose bolts down there. They're the big bolted bolts. to the block. We got better tighten them mothers down. Oh, leave them loose. Have mm -hmm. to yank this Do we already put out, the engine oil in this thing? Or no? No, it's still over there. So we got to put engine oil in. We got the oil filter on there though. We're gonna tighten up the motor mount bolts that bolt to the frame. And uh, home biscuits pretty much on the home stretch. We'll get everything on the engine completely bolted up, all wired up, and then we'll set the cab down. Fire it up before we put the radiator and stuff in it. Make sure she's good to go. Throw the front bumper on her. We got a couple things we need on the checklist. We're putting fresh oil in the transmission. We need to check the oil transfer case. Hey, did you fill the transfer so. case up? Or no? What are you doing right here, Ding Dong? He's this dummy right here putting a stack on his freaking daily driver. Done told his ass not to. <laughs> Common rail, daily driver. Yeah, 0459, he's gonna regret it. Done told him, done been there, done that. Well, guess what, I wanna be a fuckboy for a little bit. Hey, yeah, do you have a muffler on that thing? Hey, I don't know. There's straight pipe with his head. Stupid, <laughs> stupid, yeah. stupid, yeah, stupid. 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 So, <laughs> everything's pretty much ready to rock. We're gonna be leaving out of here tomorrow, it seems like, because our freaking slick that I've gotta get replaced won't be here till noon tomorrow, which sucks. But we are gonna get a muffler throw on the toenail also um, and get the flatty loaded up tonight and get it washed. Oh, it's gonna be so sick. We're gonna be starting it up soon. Up and down play, it's supposed to be there. Oh, we're having a fucking pea circle out here. What the fuck, dude? God damn. Right there, boy, he fell off that bucket. They're trying to left me, bro. I'm getting nothing done. What happened to get that stack installed, fool? We got to spark it up out here, baby. What do you need help with? You know how to play with Linko, Link fucking Legos, none of that shit? I got some fools hanging around the shop, man. Golly. Well, unfortunately, folks, it's not going to be good for us in the flatbed. I don't know if we're going to freaking... Oh, my gosh. I don't... Uh, I don't know if we're going to make it to drive to dinner. But we are going to get her fixed up for Rudy's. Unfortunately, the starter, somebody took a mud whomping. And That's how I feel about the starter. Probably got some freaking water in it. She don't want to spent over. So we've got another starter over here. That one is thankfully we not not too long ago changed out of freaking old Risley Auto Pots. So we're gonna get them to uh, warranty that baby out, and we'll be right back out of here, folks, after dinner. Hey y'all, how you doing? We're back up in here in the shop, putting the guy. Whoa, bro, chill. Now you wanna get that freaking bro dozer stack in your truck, but you gotta you gotta wait a second, bro. Jesus. So. Got the intercooler in here. Knocked old dirt out of this mother. You should look at this how much dirt was in it. Mud. I don't know. Who let you take a mud whomping? Listen, I didn't take this one mud whomping. I know the problem was I went mud whomping without the mud whomping supervisor right there, Mr. Smith. That's right. So got it all bolted up here. Got our AC condenser bolted up here. Should be Gucci. Bro, you do. Oh my God. Leave me alone. Oh my God. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Easy. Where's the clamp? We're gonna get clamp stuffed in this mother. We gotta find an engine belt. Get the intercooler pipes on, then we're gonna set the radiator in. And then maybe the electric fans only one works, so you know, that's whatever. But uh we'll make it work. I think we should just put a freaking mechanical fan on this baby and let it ride. <laughs> that's probably what's gonna happen. That's what's gonna happen. We're gonna put a mechanical fan on it and let it ride. No fan shroud? That's happening. What happened in the dirt? Yeah, I don't need no fans for out over for wussies, boy. She. We need to hose that out. What'd you just say about hose? <laughs> the hose need to clean the hose with the oh hose to hose it out. That's God. what needs going on. You just look at it. 
That's what happens when you get too close to a cow. Blah! <laughs> <laughs> Hit it right in the radiator, son. Get this. Son, we need a 10 millimeter, so we can pull these electric fans off here. You know? They still work. Uh, you need a 10B? Dang. Yeah, I need a deep one. You're so gay, dude. Look bro, at that. To... <laughs> like that, bro. I like it just a little bit. Bitch, you get, you get that on my thing. <laughs> thing will bite you. I like a little white snake get your ass. I love it. Wow. Take a play and get you pregnant. Ask my baby mama. Let's see if he likes it. Damn, I always knew you were gay. You know that? Well, got the radiator in. It's the old one that was in it. We had to wash all the freaking dirt out of it because you've seen how full she was. <sighs> but, uh, we got her in there. We got our electric fans. Only one of them spinning, but that's okay. Cause it's going to be cold up there in North Carolina. And, uh, what you think there, Halfway? You got this on backwards? You don't know what you're doing. Well, you don't know what you're doing. Go home. I'm saying it too loud. He might go. <laughs> <laughs> he goes home. I'm going home. <laughs> what did you do to my belt? Stop touching my belt. I like making him angry. <laughs> you want me? Want me to fix it again? I want you to go to the bottom and push the belt up to to me. Oh, let me get it. Never mind. I got it. Uh 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 uh. American Eagle, baby. We up in the oven, this bitch. Ain't nothing but a thing, baby. Bruce and his Christmas spirit. The mistletoe for your woman. Go to find it and kiss. Smack that motherfucker on the head like a ketchup bottle and give it a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired of being sleep deprived. I'm tired of being tired. I'm not enough. Sick and tired of being God tired. God dang it! A little spit on it. <laughs> <laughs> there it is, right there. I'm fixing it, fixing it. Get that there. This belt is from Vietnam. It's just temporary. Oh shit! Back Nam. Oh, Don't touch shit. it. Don't. Here come the comments. You ain't no redneck. It ain't no USA belt. You're a fucking wannabe. All right, Bruce. I don't want to be nothing. <laughs> <laughs> This thing off the first rev, but it'll work. Should we carry this thing with us? Up there, oh, guys? Yes. oh, yes. Yeah. We need to buy a belt at the auto parts store before we go. Oh, what, this? Yeah. <laughs> you just dug that belt out of the dirt. Had still had the shape from all the pulleys because it's been sitting so long. We're going <laughs> to run it down the road. You'll take it off Bro. the first gen and then put it back on this. You guys go step. Austin does shit right. And then Bruce half asses it. All my own stuff. Customer well, stuff always yes. gets done right. It's, no if and or It's his own stuff. We cut corners on this because we tear it apart so quick. We'll blow it up next week and then hey, listen, have to tear this, it back this apart. Is bad. You're going to take it off the first gen, put it on this, and before y'all head back, put it back on the first gen and run up. Is this, <laughs> is, it, is this motor 4.0? 4.3, baby. Chevy. What? Is this the fourth motor that's been in here? Yes. Oh. It'll be fifth Monday. Well, I got most everything on here. We got that dang flatbed. And one of my really good customers and friends, Cortez Forbes, has a twin turbo 12 valve we're working on next door. And this ramp and bumper belongs on it. And we're going to use it this week, baby. So see how easy on my headlights. Tilt it back. See how it looks on the flat nasty for this weekend. Ooh, it looks so oh, it, it actually looks sick. No, it looks. It don't look bad. Boy, that bitch looks jank. Come over here. Stand right here 
That ain't it, Chief. No, it's gonna, it's gonna have to do. Man, this bumper's all tweaked up sideways, not right. Well, it's not even rounded in right. Jesus. This book just hit me in the neck. <laughs> you get Austin? Come from up here. Huh? Push it backwards. Good, easy. Go. Isn't it just? Isn't it What's just? What's the worst that could happen? Isn't it just a plastic piece that's broken the stock bumper? It doesn't look good on the flat. It looks good on his truck next door, on Cortez's truck, but not on this one. So. I think this side of it like rocks around too much. I don't know where. We can adjust it side. It's too blocky at the bottom. Screw it's it. It's gonna it's gonna ride out for this weekend. Because the other bumper is destroyed, like freaking destroyed. So we've got the flatty in there, we've got the warranted out starter in here. Halfway couldn't be any louder over here in the corner. But we've got the bumper bolted down, cab mounts are all tight. We've, what else did we do underneath here? I already forgot, I'm so freaking beat, guys. I told you beginning this video, I was tired, and here I am like 14 hours later still just, I don't know how I'm still going. Lots of energy cab drink, mounts. lots of bang. Cab mounts. cab mounts, we've checked everything. I've put the blow-by tube underneath the truck. We've got a brand new one under there. If you guys remember, we actually melted the old one. Um, Fresh fluid and everything since we got mud bogging. Transfer case is ready to rock. What are you looking for? Seven. Seven? Yeah. This starter is different. Oh. So we're going to get this thing tightened down, let her down, and fire it up. Yeah, we do. Are you starting blue inside the truck? Starting it over. We'll turn the key off. All right, so we got fuel busting out of number one, so that's good, but we're gonna put it on charger right quick. You should fire right up. All right, we got our battery jump box charger set on start. We're gonna see how she hits. A little goose juice. Transmission's in there going to town. guys see me right there revving the freaking piss out of it trying to show off and lo and behold pfft, something shits the bed i don't know what it is but we don't have time to fix it here and we're just 
dead beat freaking tired i'm tired austin's tired so guess what we're gonna do we've got the timing tool in here i was checking to see if the timing slipped i'm almost positive it did we've got to put a different freaking radiator because this one's pouring fluid out anyway so what better way to just fix her at rudy's on the toenail so guess what yeah, we're gonna in walmart parking lot yeah okay. turned it up getting drunk getting lit so what we're gonna do is put all the parts i've torn off of it in a box literally like we're gonna leave this Timing tool in it, push her back, use the old toenail for what you designed for, tow her on up on there. Yep. Fix it in the middle of nowhere. Or we'll fix it whenever we get there or something. So we can, we're gonna pack every single freaking tool we've got almost. Impacts, I'm gonna bring an extra P-pump timing gear, some keyways for the um, gear on here. And we're gonna bring as much as we can so that whenever we get there, we can fix her up and not have to worry about it. But we're gonna get all packed up tonight, get her loaded up, and get ready to go, and drive toenail. Probably just drive toenail to the house. Well, we still gotta go to Tampa. I still have to pack. You have to pack. I have to drop my truck off. Ain't your house in Tampa? Yeah. My well, house so in why don't you get him to pass by and pick it up? That's what we're gonna start playing. Uh, Where you gonna drop it off? I gotta drop my truck off to my baby mama because she decided to blow up her car today. So I gotta deal with her to come back home with curb motherfucking 24 so she can't drive to save her life. <laughs> Can I get a sweet tea? <laughs> Through fucking McDonald's drive through So guys, with that being said, we're gonna clean up some of our mess that we've strung out everywhere trying to get this freaking thing running. We know it runs, runs freaking flawless and beautiful. So we're gonna get all the tools loaded up in the toenail and get her strapped down and go home shower, take a nap, and hit the road. Do a little honk in the horn, baby. You know so, about. make sure you smash the like button. Comment down below, guys, if you think we're, as cra we're, if we're crazy for fixing it when we get there. Whatever. It'll be fun. You guys can come find us at Rudy's while we're working on this pile. And uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel, guys. We'll catch y'all later. Peace out.